Welcome back to the channel guys and in today's video I'm going to be going over all the different moves and combos that you need to know when playing Rumbleverse. So let's get into it. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video a like button would be really appreciated. It helps advertise the game. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any more content. Alright guys back to the video. So in Rumbleverse there are two basic attacks. There is a basic strike and a basic vicious attack. The vicious attack serves as a grab and the strike serves as a punch. Now there are four different combos combos you can use. First, you can hit strike three times in a row, just dealing some pretty decent damage. Then you can hit strike twice in a row and then vicious attack at the end. And what this does is this basically launches your enemy backward, either giving you some time to recover and escape, or it kind of knocks the enemy up against the wall, allowing you to hit them even further. The third one is just strike and then vicious attack. And really, this is just another option I personally don't use this one too much, but it also kind of launches the enemy up a little bit and is good to kind of shake your enemy up a little bit so you're not just using the same basic attacks every time. Last but not least, most of you probably know about this one already, but it is jump and then strike. This basically allows you to pound your enemy into the ground, but be careful with this one because it is easily blocked. A lot of people see this one coming now as it is one of the most popular moves to just do. Now, to explain the vicious attack a little bit, I just want to say that this is probably the most important move if you can use it correctly. It's really used against when enemies are blocking or shielding. You really just want to grab them, but it will be countered by any strikes. So it's kind of hard to use. It's a little bit of a game of rock, paper, scissors, but you want to use this if, if they're just blocking and kind of sitting in a corner. This is a good way to deal some major damage and get them out of just sitting there. Now, in the loot crates found around the map, you can also find different books. These books give you different moves, allowing for so many different combos and so many different types of attacks and gameplay styles. These moves also come in three different rarities, Green is the most common, blue is like the middle range, and purple is the strongest. So you're going to want to keep that in mind when playing. A lot of the moves too are the same thing, but in different rarities. So there are like different moves. One of them, for example, would be the Crusher. There's Diamond, Emerald, and Ruby Crusher. They are all the same thing, except for one is going to be slightly better than other based on their rarity. So these moves that you pick up off the ground can also be broken into a few categories. There is the Vicious Attack version of this, and then the Basic Strike. And there's one other that kind of stuns your enemy, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Now listing the basic strike version of these moves, there is Atomic Punchline, Uppercut, Dolphin Dive, Cosmo Shot, Super Kick, and then Cyclone and Skyrocket can kind of be put into these categories, but we're going to save them for the end. Basically, from my experience, you want to use these moves after using your basic attack. So once you use your three basic strikes, and get the enemy on the ground. As soon as they get up, wait for them to not block and then go in with this move. These are basically used, these are basically used just as any other strike, but they deal an extra amount of damage and can be played in different ways. For example, the Cosmo shot is really, really good for getting enemies away from you and it deals major damage from heights. While the sumo slap is good for kind of giving your enemy a bit of a stun and allowing you to get some time to recover. While things like the uppercut kind of just put your enemy back on their back while still being really easy to hit. And the same thing with the super kick and atomic punch line. They're just simple and easy attacks that are easier to hit than others. Then there are the special vicious attacks, which include the crushers, so the diamond, the emerald, the ruby crusher, tackle. I don't know the name of this next one. I just know it is the great something drop it's like the great izunda drop or something and then there is the atomic breath these moves are basically all like i said they're vicious attacks so you want to use them while the enemy is blocking and he has that little shield bubble around him these moves tend to deal a crazy amount of damage they also really take you by storm whenever it happens you're always like oh my god what just happened you know like it's they're just really, really powerful moves. With my favorite, probably just being Tackle. I really like Tackle, I don't even know why. Now in this last category, we have the Chargeable Moves. And this actually includes one of the Sumo Slaps, so my mistake on that part, I forgot to include that. The Skyrocket and the Cyclone. Basically, Cyclone is like a little tornado move, so if an enemy is really close to you, it kind of allows you to just knock them back, and it also deals some damage but the more you charge it up, the more damage it will do. The same thing with the sumo slap. 
and then with the skyrocket obviously the more you charge it the higher up you will go skyrocket shoots you into the sky and allows you to drop on your enemies now i feel like skyrocket is really good and sumo slap is really good for early game i don't know how it deals in the end game and then bad breath also allows you to charge it up but i'm not really sure how i feel about some of these moves you can also use the great kick as a chargeable move i, I know it's, it's not called the great kick but it's something kick it might be called the drop kick one other quick tad bit is that some of these moves have a poison variant where basically when you hit an enemy it will leave a lasting poison effect so you deal damage as time goes on. Not all of the moves have a version like this, but some of them do, so I thought I'd bring awareness to it. So these are all of the pickup moves off the ground, and I really hope this kind of helps explain what to do when, because this is something I was really confused off when I first started. And overall, these moves are incredibly useful, but you just really have to keep in timing. Timing is so important when using these moves, because if you do them too early or too late, you'll leave yourself open, allowing for enemies to absolutely slam you. So guys, if you did find these helpful, please drop a like. It would mean a lot to me. And subscribe to keep up to date with the latest and greatest Rumbleverse news. I will be giving plenty of more tips and tricks in the future. So if you'd like to keep up with those, definitely subscribe. So guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.